know sports fans and baseball fans and out of the park baseball fans it's me sportsman z bob zolke and i'm here with another in my series on my chicago white Sox playthrough uh we started in 1994 and we are now going into 1998 so let's take a quick look at um my history you can see in 1994 we were 89 and 73 we uh, went to the World Series and we lost to the Astros in 1995 we missed the playoffs we were 81 and 81 in 1996 we were 93 and 69 and we lost the division series to the Cleveland Indians three games to two and in 1997, the very last season that I have played so far, uh, we were 91 and 71 and missed the playoffs. 91 wins, missed the playoffs. So uh, that puts me at 354 and 294 for my lifetime. I am just the manager of the White Sox. I'm not the general manager. So. Uh, I am not responsible for the players that we bring in. I'm just, uh, you know, I play the games with the players I have that I'm given by the AIGM. And we do the best we can with that, although that has been pretty good. Now, I want to point out 1997, um, and I did not mention this in any of the previous videos because it was kind of, you know, slipped under the radar. But 1997 was the first year of interleague play. So we played the AL Central, or the NL Central. We always play the AL Central. We played the NL Central in um, 1994, which included, of course, the Cubs, but also included the Cardinals, the Astros, the Pirates, and the Reds. So we played all of those teams, and that was the first year we had to play any NL team. Now, we're going into 1998, and 1998 is going to be notable because that was an expansion year. And so the Tampa Bay Rays and the Arizona Diamondbacks will be added to the league. Um, we will be playing there for a lot of games. Well, not a lot of games, but we will be playing the newly created Tampa Bay Rays. So we'll be playing the out-of-the-park version of the Tampa Bay Rays not the real Tampa Bay Rays, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, that's going to be an interesting development, and I'm looking forward to playing that and seeing what we can do with it. Um, I am going into the last year of a three-year contract, so um, we'll see what happens, whether I decide to take another team or not. I did look around, and in fact, we can see if we go at, at the moment, my available Major League jobs are the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, the new team, of course. They're probably looking for any manager that had any kind of success. The San Diego Padres, the Oakland Athletics, the New York Yankees, the Kansas City Royals, Cleveland, for some reason, which has won our division like two of the last of the first three years of this playthrough, or maybe all three even. I think it was two of the last three. I think we won it the year we went to the World Series. Um, you know, I don't know why they want me, but, uh, and then the Baltimore Orioles. Now, I looked at each one of these teams. It's notable that we have the 26th rated minor league system. So, the, I mean, it's really, the, our GM has to keep going out and getting great players for the actual great major league players, signing players to keep this roster good because we don't have a good minor league system. But the Padres last year were 81 and 81. And in this out of the park universe that we're in, they have Derek Jeter. And they have the second rated minor league system. So I briefly considered that, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave just yet. I think we have some more work to do with the White Sox. Try to win it. Try to work with that AI GM who's been giving me some great players. And as you know, he has been giving me some great players. We have Ken Griffey Jr. We have Dante Bichette. We have um, T 
Todd Hundley was Todd Hundley was amazing last year for us. Uh, he hit over 20 home runs. I don't remember the exact number, but man, he was good. We've got Vinny Castilla, who, um, as you may recall, was on the Devil Rays early on in their life, in their um, existence. So I don't know what's going to happen there, but right now we've got him. Um, who else? We, uh, we, we did extend, he did extensions with uh, Frank Thomas and I think with Ventura. So we're going to have them until at least the year 2000 in the game. So let's look. We are in the 1998 offseason. The um, World Series. The World Let's look at the... Um, let's see. Offseason. Oh, wait. No, not the offseason. Well, I wanted to look at the playoff tree. But anyway... The um, World Series was the L.A. Dodgers against, I'm trying to remember who it was. Let me see here. Well, anyway, um, it was the, uh, the Dodgers beat somebody. I can't remember who. For the American League. Let me take a look at the uh, standings. I don't think it was the Indians. Might have. Oh, it was Boston. Uh, I, as uh, Yes, it was Boston. The L.A. Dodgers beat the Boston Red Sox in our World Series. Four games to nothing. Swept them. So the Red Sox were the, uh, they were the wild card team and they went all the way. But then they lost to the Dodgers who, as you can see, were 105 and 57. They were quite good. So we are now in 1998, and we can look at the transaction. So far, so far, there's only been some minor things. But, uh, yeah, let's go look at rosters and transactions. And um, let's see here. think that it was rosters and transactions. Oh yeah, there we go. Transaction log. So we are now in the transaction log for this year. These are the most recent signings right up here. And uh, it all begins, I think, let's see. Most of it begins right here. Uh, because we did, we signed John Nunnally to a one-year contract extension. We signed Tommy Gilbert to a um, an extension. We signed Austin Glenn to a, an extension. Ryan Maloney to an extension. Mark Lewis signed a one-year extension. We brought him in last year for the first time. Ignatiak. Beret and Arocha. We signed all of these guys to one-year extensions. Of course, the most notable names on the list are Mark Lewis and John Nunnally. Nunnally actually has been very good for us. Last year, he hit 280 with 15 home runs. And uh, the year before that, he hit 289 with 30 home runs. So he's been really very, very good for our team. And um, so it's, it's nice that we've got him under contract. Now, last year, the big problem we had, we won 91 games. We had an offense that was like a 90s all-star offense. But what we also had was a bad pitching staff and a shoddy defense. So um, that's what's going to... Uh, that's what's going to hamper us. So, yeah, these were all transactions from October 97, which is after the World Series in 97. So, um, we will have to see what happens going forward. So, that means what we're going to do now is we are going to go forward a little bit. And we'll go forward a little bit at a time and try to see what happens. Yeah, there you go. There's the World Series, the playoff tree. And you can see that's the Red Sox and the Dodgers. Uh, four games to nothing, yep. So 
So I've got a message here. Let's see. Reliever split starts. Uh, transaction news. Yeah, minor transaction news right there. Um, let's go look at the rosters and transactions and transaction log. And let's see if there was anything new over here. Any earth shattering stuff. Doesn't look like there was. Um, no, he didn't do anything earth shattering yet. We could use, like I said, we could use some, some, uh, some better pitching. We really could use that. I would really be happy to see him come up with some better pitching. Um, let me go back here. Manager's office. Red, the Dodgers and the Reds made a trade. They traded uh, Dave Hansen uh, for Hector Ro Ro Rosas. Florida deal cons confirmed. They traded Chris Fisher um, and Nephi Perez to the Florida Marlins for David Henson. And arbitration hearings. So, um, and I again, let's go back to the transaction log. Although it didn't look like we did anything notable there. Nope, still didn't do anything. In fact, we didn't do anything. So, let's go to the end of November. Let's go to the beginning of December, December 1st, and see if we can. Well, we got a transaction log. The commissioner's office has confirmed that Justin Talbot has declined arbitration and he becomes a free agent. Maro Gazzo is a free agent. Jamie Navarro is on our team and he becomes a free agent. So does Brantley. So does Ruffin. And so does Ellis Burks. So does Chris Carpenter. So does Tony Castillo. Vinny Castilla, as I mentioned, we have. So let's see if he can work his way to the Rays like he did in real life. So we've got some guys that have uh, Nab Holtz filed for free agency. Rangers ship Venice to New York. So let's go look at the rosters and transactions log again. And again, it's just showing me that um, well Kevin Haber received a one year contact contract through automatic renewal worth a total of 139,000 so he's a uh, he's a pitcher that's on our in our uh, system so let's let's move along and uh, let's go to, oh wait, we didn't even make it to the end of December, or the end of uh, November the last time. So let's see if we can make it there now. Yep, got a personal message. Okay, let's see. Anaheim and Montreal did a deal. Pirates trade players. It doesn't really matter to me if they didn't trade them to us. So, Giants Indian swap players. Mets and the Orioles have a trade. Um, players up and down. So, let's go to the transaction log. It's probably going to tell me the same thing that nothing really earth shattering has happened. Purchase the uh, guys from the miners. All right. So we really haven't actually even done anything yet. So let's move along to the 15th of December. And see where we are with that. Um, we did we even get there yet? Yeah, I think we did. All right, so let's go to the manager's office. Uh, Baltimore and Detroit made a trade. Winter meetings end. Hitchcock, you know, Mets deal, Cincinnati. 
trade made with Milwaukee. And Kansas City, Anaheim. So it, does, it still looks like we have not really done anything. No, no, it does not look like we did. All right, so we're moving along, moving along. We're going to go to the first of the year. And what happened here? Okay, we got we completed the first year player draft. But um oh okay. Yeah, we did get to the 50 or wait, no, no, we didn't even get close. I wanted to get to the first of the year. So, yeah. Expansion draft. So there's the expansion draft. The Tampa Bay Devil Rays and Arizona Diamondbacks, the new kids on the block, are trying to find a jewel in the rough. And the established teams are trying to give up nothing of importance in today's Major League Baseball expansion draft. The uh, Major League Baseball will conduct its expansion draft today for the new clubs to begin play this season. So Milwaukee and Cleveland confirmed a deal. And Norm Panko was selected in the Rule 5 draft. Okay, so anyway, let's go rosters and transactions. It doesn't look again like any they done anything of note. So we'll go back to the standings and we will let them... Oh, yeah, we still did not get to the first of the year. We just cannot get to the first of the year. Keep getting interrupted with these... Um, notes about guys going up and coming down, which I don't really care about during the season, to be honest with you. So, where are we now? Okay, so it looks like we are there now. Um, let's go to the manager's office. Um, Atlanta and Houston trade Smoltz for Miller. Wow. Uh, Keith Johns reacts to the signing. Keith Johns has just informed you, blah, blah, blah. I don't know who he was. Set back for uh, Ramirez, single season heroics. Closer John Habian lands in Chicago, but the wrong Chicago. It's the other Chicago. So we go to the uh, rosters and transactions log again. And again, you can see there isn't really anything going on of much note. So this off season, uh, he's kind of uh, kind of getting under my skin because he's not really doing a good job this year. Messina signs with Philadelphia. Um, the Mariners and the Rangers had a player swap, and uh, well, I guess we got Tom Glavin. We got Tom Glavin, and we needed pitching. So hey, great. Jason Wood has informed you he was convinced by your offer. Boston commits to blah, blah, blah. Yes, there he is. There is the beautiful Tom Glavin. So, yeah, and um, let's see. Will Pocket in his total significantly club. For four years. So, we got Glavin. Locked up Glavin, and we still have, I think, Black Jack McDowell, too. So, all right. So, let's go to the transactions, rosters and transactions. And you can see Tom Glavin. I love it. He had uh, last year in out-of-the-park baseball, he had a 3.70 earned run average. Nice. So, yeah. Him and, uh, you know, you add him to... Black Jack McDowell, I think we're, we're doing real well. So let's go to, let's move along. Let's see what else he can pull, what other rabbits he can pull out of his hat. We'll go to the end of January now. He 
Yeah, and he looks like we're going to get there, too. Nice. So, um, let's go to the manager's office and see if there's anything else. Matt Williams signs with the Phillies. Evans for Galarraga. Eckersley settles on the Orioles proposal. Um, Harkey lands with the Orioles. Bly Levin enshrined in the Hall of Fame. Cott joins the Greats in the Hall of Fame. Pat Henkin settles on Minnesota. So, Nagel to the Twins. Clemens, Roger Clemens is going to the, going to the Marlins. Could you have imagined if that had happened? Wetland signs with uh, the Cubs, and uh, Roberto Hernandez feedback. Robert feedback was positive in Florida as the club announced an agreement with the reliever Roberto Hernandez, who we used to have, and we got Mark Witten. Mark Witten in New York broke and it was the right fielder will join the, oh, no 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 he's going to the Yankees all right um, pitching leaders Mark Icorn and Atlanta agree to terms so just check that transaction page again and you can see nothing no movement I mean Glavin may be the only guy he ends up getting us. Not that I want to sound um, ungrateful for that, but, um, you know, we could have used another starter or a, a, another reliever for the bullpen. Let's see if we got that. And this is one of the things I like about being the manager is I can just sit back and wait and see what kind of, you know, it's kind of like a kid getting up for Christmas and see what presents I got. <laughs> um, Pittsburgh swaps Tabaka. Um, Athletics announce a uh, deal for Greg Olson. Armando Rios. Cardinals Marlins trade. All right. Uh, on, we're gonna get Eric Chavez. Wait, you have you have failed to sign the following draft picks. Oh, we have failed to sign Eric Chavez. All right, so we're gonna get draft compensation for him. Let's try to make it back to March 1st. And I am probably going to call it quits at March 1st for this episode. So I just want to see who we got, you know. Because by March 1st, we've probably signed all the free agents we're going to sign. Um, Heathcliff Slocum goes to the Cubs. Kevin Gross goes to uh, the Pirates, it looks like. Indians swap confirmed. Uh, maybe I'll go a little further. Let's go to the 15th, just to make sure. Just to make absolutely sure that we didn't get anybody really of note except Glavin. Well, we've got Bill Swift at least. It looks like. Preseason is going to begin. We received uh, Bill Swift. So we've got it. We've got Bill Swift, apparently. It might have been in our minor league system. I don't know. Do a quick check of rosters and transactions. Sign free agent Nick McHaney. Let's take a look at him. 
Looks like he was just a minor leaguer, so yeah, he's a minor league player. Doesn't even look all that, really, all that good. I mean, I don't want to say, you know, but he doesn't look that good. <laughs> Rosters and transactions. Um, Bill Swift, yeah, it looks like he was in our minor leagues. Promoted Armando Rios. So that's about what we did. That's where we are right now. Uh, this was not as busy an offseason as last offseason. We got a lot of offensive pieces last offseason. And this year, the only big fish he went out and got was Tom Glavin. Now, it's a big fish. Don't get me wrong. Very big fish. But that was all he did. And so um, with that, I am going to leave you the next time that we meet up i will probably be playing opening day of 1998 and um you know let let me do a quick check let's see if they've got the team schedule yet um looks like they might have the teams yeah this is this is the i know this is the new team schedule because uh last year we opened against the blue jays and this year it looks like we're opening against texas and then we play the Tampa Bay Rays for three games immediately. In fact, um, let me see when opening day is. Let me just check that really quick. Opening day. Tuesday, March 1st is opening day. Okay, so. Oh, wait a minute. March 31st is opening day. March 31st, okay, so, all right, so we play Texas, that's our first game of the season, and then we'll have a day off, and then we play Texas again, at Texas, and then we're going to be at Tampa Bay for three, and then we play Texas at home, and then we play Tampa Bay at home, so we're going to play Tampa Bay and Texas, we're going to get a healthy heap and hearty helping of Texas and Tampa Bay, to start the season so that is truly going to be it for me sportsman z bob zolke and uh, next episode we will be starting the 1998 white Sox season